When people see my vast reserves of clears on lucky ticket stages, I'm often asked the question, Reggit, you idiot, what are you doing? Why are you doing these lucky ticket stages so many times? There's this new exciting thing on, you could do that instead. You should do that instead. You're utterly useless as an entertainer and that's why no one watches you anymore. Well, I keep having to make the case for lucky ticket stages, and I'm happy to. I feel like I can. I feel like I really can argue for them. And so I'm going to make the case properly here. Because I think you should be doing nothing other than lucky ticket stages when they're on. They are fantastic and brilliant and possibly the best element of Battle Cats because of how overwhelmingly great they are for building up items within the game and they're also good fun. So this is why, oh questioners and doubters, lucky ticket stages are brilliant. Number one, they promote the idea of meritocracy. The idea that if you work hard, you will succeed. And if you're more talented, you will succeed. To a greater degree. All lucky ticket stages are at a very same 100 energy. And this means that the higher difficulty level you are able to do, the better rewards you are going to get in total because further on stages have a greater chance of getting lucky tickets. And that idea makes it so much simpler and I think more fulfilling than, and you'll know I dislike these a lot, lucky ticket G stages, where suddenly this fantastic format just goes down the drain and the stages cost more and more into obscene amounts of energy as you go through them, meaning you have to do quite a lot of soul searching to work out which Lucky Ticket G stage is actually going to be best to farm. The first one I found for me, which just seems completely counterintuitive. Number two, you can do loads of them. There are so many stages in Battle Cats, just like the Lucky Ticket G stages, that cost 300 or more energy, just wiping you almost clean out in three attempts on those levels, and that is your entire complement of energy gone. Lucky ticket stages, 10 times. And that is fantastic. It really gives you the chance to get into the level and improve your strategy at it. And that doesn't get wearing because the stages are so short. These two things into the next point, the composition of these stages. With the exception of Slimy Stallions, which just takes too long in all cases, these Lucky Ticket stages can often be done in around 30 seconds, and that is rapid and gets a kind of competitive sense of speedrunning in. It may well just be me, but of course we have the Great Speedrun series where people compete to be the fastest, and that sense of competition drives everybody forward. It's an important idea and an important truth that when you have competition, standards improve because you're forced to improve to try and be the best, but also because you're learning from those around you. Although it's a meritocracy, everybody is helping everybody else to get the stage done in a better and quicker way. And a small amount of energy, even if you mess up, which I have done on occasion, just thinking, oh, I must have won it by now, leaving it and then losing, You've only lost 100 energy. And of course, these are continue stages, thank goodness, so that if something does go wrong, you can go out of the level and try again. Fundamentally, the low energy cost and quickness of the stage fosters a sense of improving your strategy that you don't get in other stages. These stages that you are able to do loads of times and you kind of need to do over and over again allow you to develop a strategy that you're really happy with that I can account for and argue for because everything is in there for a good reason. This is something that Heavenly Tower benefits from because it keeps coming back and you make your strategies better and better catering for that certain flaw. It's a really different story to Lucky Ticket G stages where you do the 300 energy stage once and I don't know about you, but you're like, oh, stop, just let it stop. And you have no reason to want to go into it again because it's been laborious and slow and miserable. But Lucky Ticket G stages are there to be farmed. And so you have to do this horrible laborious process again. 
Point four, overwhelmingly, you get useful stuff from Lucky Tickets. Lucky Ticket G's, Catamins. Oh, hey, Catamins, woo! Just wait for your Gamatoto to come home, honestly. Lucky Tickets, however, apart from the, of course, awful XP rewards, give you unquestionably fantastic rewards. Me, my personal favourite, as you will well know, the Cat CPU. People ask, why have you got over 200 of these items and still never use them, you stingy little spoon? Well, it makes me feel reassured and glad that I will have all the items I might need forever if I have over 200 of each of them. And Lucky Ticket Stages allow you to stock up on them with far better efficiency than daily stages and all in one convenient place as well. And you know what daily stages don't give you? Treasure radars. And you know what Lucky Tickets give you? Treasure radars. They are fantastic for items. The most efficient way, and yes, I haven't done all the maths on it, so let's put in a kind of wishy-washy point so that I can't be proved wrong on this one. The more fun way of getting these items. Point five, units. You get lil units in Lucky Tickets. And my argument has only got more strong off the back of introductions into the Battle Cats. If you don't have your Lil Cats high level, spam at the Lucky Ticket stages and you can get them to max in not conceivably many Lucky Ticket events. And now, when they're maxed, you don't have to regrettably turn them into XP. You can turn those Lil Cats into NP massively building up your reserves so that no part of the what was previously good lucky ticket haul becomes useless yes the xp rewards are terrible but you get xp rewards as well in lucky ticket g's and sure they're bigger but by the time you get to a point where you can't spend your xp on anything who cares if they're bigger then all you really are getting from Lucky Ticket G stages are catamins, and maybe I underestimate how much people love catamins, but really, do we care that much? I think what we really care about is having enough items to always be able to put on a sniper and rich when we need to, speed up through a level when we need to, and have glorious amounts of CPUs to put on the stage to steam through the level while you make yourself a cup of tea. And you can get these items in droves, these wonderful, reassuring, helpful items from a fast, quick, enjoyable to play type of stage. I feel no fatigue in racking up my two to three hundred clears of a lucky ticket stage every time the event is on because these stages are fun. The regret that I feel is not going on to Battle Cats when I wake up during these events because then I've wasted some of my energy and thus wasted some attempts. It is addictive because of how quick and unfatiguing it is. Lucky Ticket G stages, laborious, slow, but Lucky Ticket stages, so repeatable, so moorish, and ultimately so rewarding. I really hope that this impassioned message explains why I love Lucky Ticket Stages, and if it just allays your wonder as to why I'm constantly on them, fair enough. But if it makes you want to do them yourself, that would be even better. And on that note, I bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.